hello guys welcome back to java top interview questions my last video was about the immutable class in this video i'm going to discuss very important java questions which is java string pool so let's get started so i will discuss the introduction first then discuss the memory representation of string pool then i will discuss different ways where we create we can create the string object and how it behave with the string pool using eclipse i will do that then discuss i will discuss the advantage of string pool and there are some commands those we can use in java 6 7 8 for string pool and at the last top interview questions okay so string constant pool is and memory area in heap which stores string literals okay so string literals are created like this string s equal to java so jbm optimized the amount of memory used for string literal by storing only one copy of the string literal in string pool so it means only one object is created for any number of literals with the same value so these two statements means string pools are used to store the string literals so whenever we create a string using string literals like string s equal to something so those strings will automatically be stored into the string pool and the string which strings which have the same values let's say we have 20 string have java values which are the string literals those all literal have only one object created so that is the basic idea behind string pool it won't create new object for string literals it provide the reference of the object which have the same value okay so this is the memory area representation of string pool here we have heap memory there we have a string pool area so heap memory contain a separate memory area for string pool this memory area contain all the string literals and string object which are forced using intern method so there is a wave so as i discussed string pool is used to string literal but we can also use string object which are creating using new keyword so we can use intern method to do that so when you use intern method with the object which are created using new keyword it means those object will be um, put put it to string pool so so let's do that let's say we have three objects string first second third which all three objects have same value so and as you see in, as you see on this diagram in the heap memory only one object is created for all these three objects because all these three objects have same value as java and all these three objects are literal so let's open the eclipse so i have already created this class where i have three objects for second third so to check if those objects have same reference so as we see in the diagram when the first object is created the new object will be created for this when the second object is created with the literal jbm check if the value already exists into the string pool so it won't create new object it keep the reference to previous object same thing happened with the third string also okay so to check the object having same reference we can use double equal to method so we can say first equal to second okay and let's check the second equal to third also because all three object have same reference so we can compare any one of them with other and all will return true so okay so let's run it yep it is true it means 
there is only one object created for all these three string literals and reference is provided for second and third object to the first object okay so now as you see on the diagram let's say now we have a fourth object which have different value so as per the diagram in this case the fourth object is also a literal string literal so JBN check if there is a already already exist value for JavaScript so there is no value for JavaScript so it will create a new object for this thing so let's do that let's say we have fourth object here okay so let's say it is JavaScript and let's compare the reference now let's compare the first equal to fourth it should be false okay let's run it yeah it is false so it means the new object is created for this string literal because it has different value okay so let's say we create we can create one more object here fifth object which have same value as the fourth object now let's check if fourth equal to fifth yep so let's run this yeah fourth equal to fifth so because both two have the same value so that's a cool feature of the string pool whenever we create the string with the literal it automatically check if the value already exists and it won't create new object for that so there is one more one more way in which we create generally create the string we have a new keyword to create the string we we can use the string parameterized constructor to create the string in java so if we do create string like this then as per the diagram as you see as you see the value will not be stored into the string pool so string pool is only used for the string literals so the value in this case if you see the fifth have the same value as java the value is same of first second third and fifth object but the new object will be created for this string and it it is somewhere into the heap memory so let's implement this let's say we have a sixth string equal to new string okay and let's say this have same value okay so let's check the reference of sixth and first so we can say first equal to six no it is it will be false yeah it is false so so we have in these statements we have only created three objects one is here second is here and third using the new keyword so when we use new keyword it means the string pool concept won't work but we can do this we can force it to put into the string pool so there is a way to do that so as you see see on the screen now in the for the fifth string we can use intern method which force the string push, uh, tell the JBM to check first if the string exists into the string pool and then it won't create a new string for this so here another reference is given to the object which is already created with the value java okay so let's do that let's say we use in term here and if we run this yep now first equal to six so first and six have same same reference so these are the different way where we can use we can create string in java and then uh, jbm will check if it is already 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 exist into into the string pool 
and then it won't create the new object for that so it will save lot of memory area and definitely it make the it boost the performance of the system and software so that's a cool feature so uh, so I have explained these three steps in my next video I will explain all the remaining remaining steps like advantage of string pool and commands used in Java 6, 7, 8 and I will have a list of interview questions related to this topic so that's all for this video see you next video bye bye